Model Workout, brought to you by iStudio, only on Fashion One. Welcome to Model Workout. My name is Chelsea Hunter, and today we're gonna give you a quick, effective workout you can do right in the comfort of your very own home. Now, if you wanna look as great as these gorgeous models behind me, you're gonna have to stick with us today. Now, today we're gonna be working our legs, our lower back, our hamstrings, our core, and those all important glutes. But first, let's talk about how this is important to the modeling world. Your legs and butt are showcased on the catwalk, and they have to not only look great, but they have to be strong enough to give you the powerful strut of a model. Models use these exercises to tone up their bodies and help improve balance for the catwalk. Walking in heels is difficult at best of times, let alone when you're strutting your stuff down the catwalk. They are also great for improving that all-important posture. So we're gonna move on to the warm-up in just a second here. Now is a great time to grab some water and keep a towel nearby. All right, ladies, we're gonna get started with jogging in place. Are we ready? In three, two, one, here we go. Now this warm up is gonna get the blood circulating through our bodies. Raising that internal body temperature. Three, two, one jumping jacks. Moving on to skipping in place in three, two, one. Here we go. Jump row pops. Second, stick with us at home. All right, we're gonna go into marching in place in three, two, one. Marching in place, very nice. All right, make sure you drink lots of water as we move on to the workout. Go at your own pace. You can modify the moves at any time. The first exercise we're going into is high knees. This is very important in the modeling world for lots of reasons. It's important to keep your calves strong and toned so that your legs can keep up with you on the catwalk.
due to the unstable position the foot is held in while wearing stilettos. One of the greatest risks of associated with wearing heels is rolling over your ankle or an ankle sprain. The muscles that play an important role in stabilizing the ankle are called the peroneals. And we're going to be working out these tiny ankle stabilizing muscles because they quickly become overworked as you stand or walk in your stilettos. All right, ladies, we're going to be moving on to high knees. Now for this exercise, I'm going to show you a side profile. Nice straight back. We're going to lift the knee at a 90 degree angle. We want the knee directly over the heel, not over, not behind. Okay? We're going to be switching our arms and our legs. Okay? And we're going to be hinging our arm in an L-shaped position from the shoulder, not from the elbow. All right? Locked in place. What do you say, ladies? We ready to get started with high knees? All right. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and high knees. Very nice, Alex. Let's get those knees up. Very good. Good, Jen. Now remember, we're hinging at the shoulder. There you go. Nice job, Paola. And the beautiful Monique. Nice job, ladies. Join back in with you. Very nice job on completing that first exercise of model workout. Continue to march in place at home. We'll be right back after this commercial break on model workout. All right, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again here on model workout. Hope you were marching in place like we were on the break. Next exercise we're moving on to is switch kickbacks. But first, let's explain how this is relevant in the modeling world. On the catwalk, your arms are often bare, and models need to be sure that their arms are toned so that there is no jiggle when they showcase clothing during a runway show or in a shoot. And these exercises will definitely help with that. This workout will also improve your stabilizer muscles. These are the tiny muscles in between all of your larger muscles. Having strong stabilizer muscles helps models to hold awkward poses for longer, and sometimes a model needs to hold her whole body in an uncomfortable position and remain looking natural. Alright, so let's move on to the switch kickbacks, our first exercise here. We're going to have our right foot in front, left foot planted in the back, arms in a fighting stance position. We're going to lean our body weight back and kick up forward first, then we're going to shift our body weight forward and kick to the rear. We're always going to have our vision where we're kicking, so looking forward, kicking forward, back when we're kicking back. We want to kick at the height of our line of vision. So. Let's envision we're kicking our ex-boyfriend in the front, crappy boss in the back. Here we go. In three, two, one, and front, and back, and front, and back. and forward and back. Nice job, ladies. And last one, and 
march in place. All right, next exercise we're gonna be moving on to is the plyometric squat. I'm gonna move over to Alex to have her demonstrate. She's gonna start with her feet, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart for this exercise. Toes pointed straight forward. She's gonna raise her arms straight up in the air for the beginning of the prep of the squat. Swing them down and back up, landing in the squatted position. As you can see, Alex has a beautiful squat. She's got her back nice and straight and strong. Arms strong, straight in front of her body. And as you can see, she's holding a nice deep squat almost at a 90 degree angle. So let's show a couple of them in a row, Alex. Great job. Very nice. She's my rock star. So if you want to do a deep squat, follow Alex. We're going to go over to Jen. She's going to show us the modified plyometric squat. Again, Jen's going to start with her feet shoulder width apart, so a little bit more narrow. Toes a little bit more narrow. There you go. Arms straight up in the air for the prep of the squat. Same thing. She's going to swing her arms down up and when she lands as you can see she's in a more shallow squat than Alex was so it's about a three-quarter squat so if you want a modified version follow Jen again she's got a nice straight back as she lands arms nice and straight in front of her and she's landing with very soft feet so let's do a couple Jen very nice all right so again full squat follow Alex modified squat follow Jen here we go, ladies. Let's start in the starting position. Arms up. And here we go. In three, two, one, and up. And up, and hold. Two, three, four, and up. And hold. Two, three, four, and up. two, three, four, walking in place. Nice job, ladies. All right, next exercise we're gonna be going into are the lunge step outs and the plyometric split lunges. We're gonna be stepping out for the lunge step outs with our right leg first. Leg at a nice 90 degree angle. Knee over the ankle, not over it, not behind it. Okay, switching back and forth. Then we're gonna speed things up with a plyometric split lunge, same motion, with a hop in between. All right, here we go, ladies. Let's get pumped up for this. 30 second rotations of each. All right, here we go. Starting with lunge step outs. In three, two, one, here we go. Switching into the plyo, split lunges, and two more, and last one, and plyo split lunges. Nice job, Jen. Remember to breathe, ladies. 10 more seconds. Nice job, Monique. Stick with it. Okay, we're only moving in two. Step out now.
three, two, one, and marching in place. Nice job on that incredibly hard leg burning workout. Keep marching in place. We'll be right back with model workout after the break. All right, welcome back. I hope you've been marching in place on the break. All right, today we've been working our legs, lower back, and core. We're moving into butt blasters next. Let's talk a little bit about how this exercise will benefit you in the modeling world. If you want to fit perfectly into your bikini, you're going to have to work that butt. ladies now let's move on to our mats for butt blasters which is going to be the next exercise now we're going to start with our hands directly underneath our shoulders our body is going to form a nice 90 degree angle we're going to lift the right leg first so that our thigh is parallel with our back and forms a nice straight line we're hinging from the hip in a locked l-shaped form and we're doing 10 mini pulses at the end of each set all right ladies here we go in three two one and lift leg hip thrusters. We're going to be lying straight on our backs. Feet are going to be positioned about 12 inches from the glutes. When you come up, your hips should make a nice straight line all the way up to the knee. We're going to extend the left leg straight out, keeping our thighs parallel, bringing our hips down and back up each time. All right? Then we're going to be switching the legs. So let's start in the downward position. Legs up, ladies. Very nice. And here we go. In five, four, three, two, and up.
two and release. Very nice job, ladies. All right, let's get back up on our mats and march in place for our cool down. All right, here's where we wanna slow our heart rate down, get back to a nice resting heart rate. Start to slow our breathing down here. I'm breathing hard, what about you ladies? You should be breathing hard at home too. All right. We're gonna move on to stretching. All right. Let's spread our legs out a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Grab either elbow and fold in half. Hanging a frame stretch. This is gonna stretch those hamstrings. We've just worked so hard. Very nice. How we feeling ladies? Good, we feel like we worked our legs, our core. All right. And let's move over to the right side. Very nice. Now I really want you to try and straighten this leg. If you can't straighten it and put your fingers on the floor, that's just fine. You can grab your knee or your shin. All right, let's move over to the left. Very nice. Really stretching out those legs that we just worked so hard. All right, moving into quadriceps stretch. Let's come to center. Reach back with both of the hands and grab that right foot. Really pull back. Nice tall stance here. These will work your stabilizer muscles. So if you need a chair to balance or if you would need to use the wall, that's fine as well. Really get a nice stretch on those quads and release. Let's move on to the left. Reach back with both. If you fall out while you're stretching your quads, that's quite all right. Just come back up nice and controlled, stretching that quad. We need to recover our legs because it's just as important as working them out. All right, 10 more seconds here. Very nice job. All right, and that completes our cool down. Give yourselves a hand, ladies. Give yourselves a hand at home for completing Model Workout. You've done a great job today. I'm Chelsea Hunter for Model Workout. Join us next time where you're one step closer to achieving that perfect model body.